I should go ahead and switch screens because Kang's team names are still great. <laughs> Live, laugh, lease. Lease and a fleece. I still love you, lease. <laughs> it's three lease teams. Very good. Okay, we're going into it. Winners finals. Whoever wins this advances to grand finals. And of course, whoever loses this drops down a bit. But uh, this is for pretty important game. Least yeah, captain versus yeah that that final spot so um yeah congrats for both of these guys making it all the way out here so uh i just want to see how these uh these play out now yes both these players have done very well obviously they're both in winner's side uh but even then they both had some incredibly powerful sweeps i want to remind that uh kaz almost didn't get to play in this tournament and uh, instead, after they were able to fix that technical issue, they have gone all the way. So uh, that's kind of incredible, not getting discouraged by that. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, it, it was the Rock Lee training weight. Yeah. Uh, it, you, I have one technical difficulty here. Let me fix that. And now, you know... Yeah, now going... nothing can stop you. Absolutely nothing. All right. Lunch invite on the Zale immediately. Uh, Tazu lead is pretty good up against these Zale teams. Bomb Locket just, just removes it, though. Yeah, and I, I want to think... I know that we have the, the candy necklace in this game, too, but it's just, you know, if you're hungry, just eat your necklace, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, it does what it does. I, I wonder if the bomb is just, like, made out of something actually kind of tasty. Like, it'll do in a pinch. It, it, it'd be pretty nice. I mean, somebody somebody has to make a recipe for a bomb locket. It's got a pure hunger and any other any other things, any other uh, feelings. Whatever ails ya. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Gets the second lunch invite off correctly. And Zale is sad now. He cannot gain any energy. It is... Uh, sad and hungry. Yeah, the, the hunger is obviously the big thing. It really puts a time limit on how many uh, packs you can set off. But I also think, also importantly, is, you know, that sadness. Because it is, um, you know, Kayvon, uh they do have a lot of battery to play with. But not being able to get any battery is really important as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the sad just shutting that off. I mean, battery is so huge, it prevents attacks from hitting you. That Shriek was also huge, by the way. Yeah. Zale pretty much dies from this. Kaz is okay with them just getting knocked out. But trades for the Farron, and it is, you know, Tazu does have a much lower emotional defense. Which could become important later. Um, yeah, especially later down the line, you want to make sure that whatever strengths they had you want to take it away and even it even if it is a one for one it we have to figure out like now is the time to figure out where the holes in their team is and what your win con is right uh speaking of multiple win cons that's why i really like the uh the fell in the back even though it's not captain fell they still function quite well as a sweeper and um i think that's going to be something that kang has to figure out how to deal with but that's also, like, why Sad is so useful. Those mm. low-defense characters just cannot actually afford to parry. Ooh, nice. Switch is into the Clint. Leading Locket going to be able to back him out and brought Max as well. So just takes a hit, eats some stuff, gets out. And I don't know. We, d we didn't see it. There, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm dumb. It was uh, brought snack. I was like, if it's yeah. unleashed, then we can go for speed, but nope, we are yeah. just getting the recovery. Just uh, immediately comes back in, you know, almost like the fleeting locket didn't happen, but also almost like the topple hammer didn't happen. Brings yeah, in grace kind of instead. Of biting. The biting grace. The practice stick just starting to. Ooh. Ooh. Thorn Pendant Thorn Grace pendant. is something I really like, too. <laughs> Grace just has really solid physical defense. And, uh, so it makes sense to use that here. Now, uh, of course, we know Kang has clicked Lullaby, 
but does Kaz know Kang's grace has a lullaby, or do they keep Clint in despite that, or do they, like, switch out, I guess? I think having that four tired is a huge threat, mm -hmm. as well as being sad. Uh, but exactly. I, I think to some extent, uh, okay, switches out to Fell. I feel like Clint's very useful for gaining energy as well, since the uh, Brock snacks makes him really tanky. So putting Sad on somebody else is okay, but Fell being tired is a little risky. Yeah. Um, it's also interesting because clock on um, on Fell's side because whatever attacks they have, they now have to calculate for that damage as well. Yeah, I think it's also interesting that I, I'm pretty sure Kaz knew the lullaby was coming, just because the uh, Fell probably would have died to the other attacks. If not probably, then like would have been at like 10 health, and the 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 raw switch in was uh instead of like a safe switch fireworks doesn't actually gain energy either yeah because it's sad <laughs> sad fireworks sad fireworks it's just it's one spark yeah it barely even explodes literally it's goes out with a whimper old. yeah so now we gotta figure out uh we we heard about the, the switch in to Fell to try to take that hit. Um, are they going to do something here as well? There it is. Okay, so yep. the Clint comes in, takes that hit as well. Now they know that Topple Hammer is there. Yeah, I mean that was the second time the Odette used Topple Hammer. Mm -hmm. The first time was the uh, the fleeting locket with snacks, the yeah. eating locket, as you will. Um, but yeah, it, bringing in the Clint against the Odette, it's pretty much the same thing that happened before. Getting a pro preemptive switch into Kaven as well. Yeah, the switch into Kaven is going to make sure that they're going to... If the, if it was another topple hammer, uh, it wouldn't have done so much. But also, um, we don't know. Is this one tenacious? I don't remember, actually. I want to say okay. it is, but uh, I think it's sort of like Kaz recognized that that same scenario already happened. And so mm -hmm. expecting Kang to switch into a, a Grace like she did last time, switched into uh, the Cabin to try and get some distance going, you know, get that mentor running, uh, try to mm -hmm. apply something here to help advance their game plan. Yeah, and Grace has to switch because it can't really like threaten oh the infuriate bonks them with the blackjack okay Caben takes 40 from the tired though yeah definitely kind of did a good job at covering the options there now of course Caben has to worry about fireworks always a tricky situation to be in mm-hmm And I don't know if uh, if Kaz has a lot of options to really block it because Zale is out. Right. Um, so we don't know if this is going to be, you know, a stack or maybe if Clint could survive it, we won't know. Um, Haven does outspeed here, though. So if anything, they, they get a little bit more going towards their Eric. Right. Um, which is going to help out later, but at the cost of their Kaven. Yeah, it seems like Kaz wanted to just try to secure the uh, the Eric sweep instead of trying to, like, do something tricky with Kaven. Of course, it doesn't give any battery because Kaven was sad. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Kaz still has an entire battery, so they still have a few options in this case. They might be hoping that they can get in a fireworks before they get sad. Yeah. That I, might be the play. Um, I, I'm they, expecting... We know that the Eric has a speed too, right? Yeah. I'm expecting the... I almost am expecting the Odette switch on Kang. Or at least I would be expecting it if I was Kaz. Or Tazu switch is also very solid. 
Takeo's a Tazu. Oh, it's because it's a mentor. It got mentored twice. Yep. So. That's the double mentor. Gum. Tazu's knocked out. They're actually fairly even on battery, which is really funny to me. Despite the, uh, the like, sad shenanigans from Lee's captain. Yeah. I think if, if Kaz is able to deal with the Grace, then they might be fine. I mean, not the Grace, the Odette. They might be fine. Yeah. The Pester Bombs, and just being able to, like, ink a lot of that hit um, from Eric is going to be important. Yeah, the the priority tricks really uh, help with, like, managing the flashy Eric shenanigans. Just all that meter gain. Kaz does still have one battery, though. Tags into Kaz Clint. Is, yeah, it's oh, off a Tobble wow. Hammer. Um, once again, that like, we know that that threatens Eric. So, if he doesn't get the KO with any move, he has to try to cover his bases there. And so the switch into Clint was a, a relatively safe play. Yeah. Seems like that's happened to every time Odette was brought in. Yeah. <laughs> I almost wonder now if Kaz is expecting another switch out. No keeps Clint in against Grace, this time with Riding Crop. Thorn Pendant does yeah. a lot. Yeah, so Clint either takes, like, either gets a hit and dies here, or decides to switch out, you know, it is brought smack. So we'll see, obviously, who they switch into, and if anything, what uh, Kang decides to run out of it as well. Right. I like clicking on button here. Having that extra speed is just so useful. And so Kang is opting to take the uh, slightly longer option. The like, uh, the like sort of investment in the rest of the game. Oh, Kaz Perry. Okay. okay. So riding crop. the writing crop came in and dies for it. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was a bit interesting. Um, I thought, you know, the parry initial was was smart. Maybe it was to cover something, but the thorn pendant was just enough to KO. I guess Grace is still slowed. She didn't get the uh, speed buff. Very, uh, very interesting decision there. Eric comes in. Is it in. to make sure that... If, does Eric outspeed this race now just because they couldn't get that on button off? I don't think so, but that's what I'm wondering if yeah. that's the case here. Or if that was the, the at least the, the thought process going into it. Also, Kaz does have another battery still. They might mm -hmm. just parry for safety. No parry. They become tired, ooh. Oh, the, oh, oh she the got the in. speed buff animation. Okay. So never mind. Even though it was parried, Grace was fast. I must have blinked or something. Yeah. Like we, it's we, a, there's we a we lot. We didn't see that. We're just... That's why we're not players. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a lot to keep track in this game. Also, yeah, hand cannon... Flourish hand cannon boosts up the digital attack even more. <laughs> Might be able to one shot Odette now. Yeah, and that that's pretty scary. We know that they have the. Do they have the speed? Is it's gonna be is topple parry like one has battery right now. So uh, if Kang goes for parry, um, or is at least thinking about what Eric has here with hand cannon yeah um, will they be able to they'll be able to survive the hit but can they return the favor too that it... right and i'm pretty sure fell is sad so switching into fell to get a little bit extra energy doesn't really work here yeah i'm kind of surprised kang didn't parry the topple or parry with topple hammer yeah that me too um i'm kind of if the parry came through as well, it's just for, like, safety sake and to get a KO on Eric. But 
Maybe they're confident that they can take the first hit. Like they're just saying, okay, well, if it's if it's firework, we'll be good. They won't be able to they won't be able to get their oh. full battery off of it. Oh, the firework comes through. Does not kill. Does not kill. Okay, so like so plus seven fireworks. <laughs> could not clench it. Wow. Yeah. Eric that, that is They they read that quite well and we forgot that, you know, Fell is also tired here. So not only they have one battery to play with, but also they're on a on a clock as well. Right. So they have to they have to win this game in two turns. So Yeah. And Lise is at 89, which is a very difficult space to be in. And Kang has two batteries now. So I think, yeah. like, I mean, obviously, Kaz can't p flourish to bypass the uh, parry. Because that'll just kill them. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, I think Kang takes this game from this spot. Yeah, I'm just looking to parry right now. Flourish and parry topple hammer. Yep. There it is. Tire gets the hit, and then the topple Big hammer, hammer for, hit. For the hit, yep. And Kang takes game one of winner's finals. Uh, very, very solid job at, like, maintaining the uh, meter management that game. Kaz really was uh, pushing through, though. Yeah, like, we thought, obviously, with all the sad debuffs that we saw throughout the entire game that, you know, they would have battery control throughout the rest of it. Um, didn't give them any, you know, chance to really build that up for the late game. But we saw by about halfway through, uh, once Eric started rolling, it was pretty much dead even on battery. Yeah. The, uh, the, par the parry on the, um, the unbutton was really interesting I, a lot of people are mm -hmm. saying like maybe that was the uh the turning point like if uh kaz didn't parry that maybe it would have worked out i'm yeah not sure but it definitely didn't really help in that turn yeah it there wasn't a lot of like late game like repercussions or consequences for using the parry at that at that moment so it didn't really help kaz as much as it should have yeah. all right going kaben versus tazu captains starting with this support zale again really solid lead since it's able to uh just threaten like a lot of different defensive leads with its mixed uh mixed attacks and mm -hmm. shut down uh emotional tanks and Lullaby helps deal with physical attackers, or just attackers in general, I mean. Yeah, and also bringing in Zale at the very beginning um, threatened the cave on, so he had to switch. Exactly. I know uh, in the last match, Kang also led with this Zale on this team. So it seems like it's uh, just a, a lead she prefers. Odette, though doesn't isn't uh easy for zale to deal with so she switches out back into caben or well not Kaben. back but into caben for the first time this match yeah so the caben this time takes that hit also has that thorn pendant um and we have to consider you know the first move that was used by zale was peck so if uh if the admire does go through um then you know that is a that is a ko but also um, you don't want to ac accidentally admire something that can become buff later on. So, I think, yeah, most of the people on Kaz's team have pretty good emotional defense. Mm -hmm. I think Odette is pretty much the main outlier. The main outlier. Yeah, and it, especially after that peck too, like it was at least threatening. So, oh, now yeah. Kavon's out here takes that uh takes that admire but we'll see if they're also packing admire because that might stack later on Ooh, cheer is an interesting pick there it's gonna start healing up everybody a little bit also 
makes switching back into Odat a little better. Most of the team yeah. isn't actually at low health, but I think Cheer definitely helps make these more active switch-ins. Uh, because, like, if you even if you take 20 or 30 damage, you're going to heal up a pretty good amount of it. Spike Club. Oh, with Cheer, it gives himself a feeling. That's funny. Oh, yes. I like that. Well, no longer Cheery, but took a big hit from Tazu. Yeah, now it can at least threaten the firewall. Um, so, if anything, they could either switch, which I feel like is the bird method here. Yes, and that's, yep. that's what they're going to go for. Flourish Firewall does a lot of damage to Odette. Doesn't quite seal it out, though. <gasps> Topaz Locket, yes. Interesting. Yeah, sets up, sets up one set of pop-ups, so... Um, if Lee's does come in... Uh, or Zale. The Zale has the uh, destruction wave on Yeah. Him. There it is, yeah. So that might be helpful, but it's also threatening, you know, Topple Hammer once again. Right, yeah. Making it tricky to uh, both clear these pop ups and take care of Odette. Odette almost dies. Just barely short at 25. Uh, Thorn Pendant alone does not kill, but I think. Uh, King is looking at a solid way to uh, push through despite that. Obviously, the Admirer or the Spike Club would kill at this point. Ooh. Ooh, the Flourish Pester Bomb. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, okay. So at least bring it down to 6 HP. That's still, still not a lot to work with. Well, if King switches out, then... Uh, Kang has to clear those pop-ups or else Kaben's dead. So I almost yeah. wonder if Kang is going to keep the Kaben in for one more round. Which was another fun alliteration. Yeah, and they have to they have to click an attack as well. They can't they play they can't click uh the, I think it was charge panel that they had. Right. Um as their trick. So it's more of they have to deal damage at this point. And there's the Tazu, <laughs> which is just kind of guaranteeing that Kaben's dead. I don't know how I feel about the direct switch in, but it does keep the captain plan. And Kaben's captain plan is one that's definitely omnipresent, even when he's in the back. So it's not the worst plan. It's like Disruption yeah. Wave is coming out as well. Yeah, trying to clear up that pop-up while they can. Yeah, well, neither of them can really do anything to each other. I also am quite a fan of decoying on Tazu. Uh, kind of like, I guess they just uh, didn't expect Kaben to do much else. Ooh, and switches out the Tazu. Disruption Wave still goes through, um, despite the uh, anger. But, I don't know. I mean, Lee still definitely tanks this. No backlash damage, of course, though. Yeah. And, but Lee's also is still excited from, from, that cave on, uh, from the cave on Sheer earlier. Right. So. Yeah, definitely managing those excited uh, turns to kind of help take some damage that the opponent's throwing out. Very useful. No longer excited, though. Yeah, this one's kind of an, kind of a tough position because, yeah, it, the Lee showed firework. So, and is also now sad, so can't really gain anything off the battery. Yeah. Plus, the damage has to come through one way or another, so if, uh, if Lee's decides to go for an attack it, it puts them on a one turn clock at that point it looks like they are going to stay in the package is going to come through we'll see what they go for they go for an admire Ooh. that's going to be able to ko zale is out goodbye zale he is uh yeah he he did a lot of work though kang zale definitely i mean just the uh the putting the 
lullaby on people is already pretty big. Like least... Yeah, hitting a lullaby and also clearing the pop-ups that would have taken out uh, Avon later was right. really important. Even with uh, even with Lucky Pendant, it would still take three turns of healing before Kaz could click another attack with Lease. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the Tazu's coming in more of just like Tazu's low health, Lisa's low health, somebody's going down, maybe both. Or it's a switch. Like they're they're forcing a switch in. Um, but I don't I don't see that happening. I think it's just a stack at this point. Yep. Oh, oh right, Tazu outsped Lise. Okay. Well that worked. Have a little had a little bit more investment in there. Yeah. So yes, I have quite a. Oh, Tazu's base speed is sixty. Whoa, that that's a quick. That's Tazu. way faster than I expected. Never mind. Yeah, that was a good switch in then. <laughs> yeah, this Tazu's been working on their cardio. And yeah, I I have a lot of different video game songs in this playlist. Uh, yeah. So, Tazu with the uh, firewall on Kaza's side. It's um. I mean, it definitely protects the Tazu from one attack, such as this. Is Kang's Tazu going down now, however? Lunch invite. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe not this turn. Uh, will for sure next turn. Yeah. They decided to keep it in. But that that's really interesting that they decided to not just go for, like, a straight-up attack. Now, bottom himself, like, at least one more turn. Um, it's going to go for the possible lunch invite as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think Kaz was expecting a switch out into, like, Lease or something. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of keeping the Tazu in, who has kind of a lower health right now. But yeah, at least dealt with the decoy early. So, I, I know that Tazu has another one as an option. Oh, he's actually got a switch and the lunch invite goes through. Wow didn't read the it, it could have possibly been you know like threatening the uh the firewall there but they knew that okay well if we are able to save one more turn we will so that's what they did they saved one more they made sure that they could get through and yeah Tazu's gonna go down because uh they were, they were hungry yep here comes lease this uh Kaben does have spiked club however and that is currently online. Fireworks is pretty threatening, though. I Yeah, we'll see what the speed is here. Uh, there's no battery on the side of Kaz. So, right. if also, the... Uh... Uh, oh, go for it. Yeah, I was going to say, Kaz has the coin right now, which is fairly big because these are both at 30, I believe. 30 base speed. Tazu switch in. Okay. We know All that right. Tazu's faster than Lee's. We learned that before. No yeah, spike so cloak for now. Sure. Yeah, they they covered they covered for the hit. Uh, they knew that they didn't have the speed at that moment, so there's a good good switch in. Does give them a little <laughs> bit more battery to play with though. That's that's another thing that we're we're watching. You know, two to two to zero advantage in terms of that. Oh, are you but, telling me Kaben is? 35 base speed. Interesting. I thought he was the same as uh, Lise. No, that's... Okay. So so that means that Kaben might have outsped Lise if uh, they put some stats into his speed. Yeah, if they put, like, one into it, like, even 36? Or... We'll see. Well, but yeah. Yeah. It's starting to get down to the wire here. They're three to one advantage uh, battery wise I feel like at this point if you are Kang you want to start using a couple of these because um, your captain's plan isn't gonna isn't gonna do too much if you still have battery right um, but at the same time like you you want to use them on turns that that matter right exactly lunch invite okay I guess not not expecting any sort of digital attack to do great against uh, least 
there. One Shin Fight's definitely better at taking out Lease, since you really can't outheal it at some point. But yeah, at this yeah. point, it's definitely a matter of how you spend your meter and not just when. Kaben's now sleepy. Sleepy, hungry, angry. The uh, three dwarves. Kaben. Yeah. Definitely taking all these feelings. Spike Club is still a threat, but not as much to Grace. Yeah, but I I would be really interested. It might be interesting to see if they are able to tank this first hit. They, they even go for a cheer. The it, cheer. it was a cheer. So we knew that they were going to... We, we didn't know if they were going to take the damage, but they're able to at least survive and take a couple more rounds here. Yeah. Bringing in the Captain Cabin on Kang's side is interesting. I, I have to wonder if she read the cheer there. Nah. You know, figured that she might as well try to do something with Kaben. Still angry, so charge panels out of the question. But uh, the other attacks are still there. Switches into Farron. And Meyer does not do anything to him. Only thing that it does is give him a give him a buff here. Yep. And he and heals back you know, a solid amount of that damage. Yeah. Half. He's lucky pendant. Excited. I don't know if uh, Kang has a great way to deal with the Farron. I guess the Lease had a digital attack. I think Fireworks? Yeah. But still pretty bad spot. Yeah, it's a rough spot to be in. Peck right is now, definitely so. helpful. We could lower that. The firm handshake coming Ooh. through to threaten the battery now. I mean, yeah, Kang they, pretty much just has to stay there in place. Yeah, they have to sack Grace at this point. Um, yeah, this is this is looking really really tough here. You have to get something off of the parry. They even parry I'm that. Just give him the write up. Yeah. Doesn't need to like do any flourish handshake things. Just uh just parry the hit. Farron survives. And now it's just up to Lise. Who technically has the ability to fireworks Farron. Even flourish they also have a, yeah, flourish. They have a lot to work with. Um in terms of battery here. So the flourish fireworks coming through. It's not enough. Not enough. It's not enough to KO. The topple hammer is though. Wow. And Kaz is gonna take that. Yes. Great game one there. Wait, was that game one? I think it was game two, right? That was game two. You're right. I think that means. Oh, that's one one it's now. One okay. one. Yeah, it's one one. So. Yeah, the the last match was the first. Uh, first game that Kaz has taken in this uh, the first L that Kaz has taken in this entire tournament yeah um, so now it's 1-1 it's just to land themselves in grand finals so we'll see um, what team they decide to bring in yeah Kaz really wants to uh, not drop a set it's like if they can't if, if they're gonna drop a game they can't do any more than that uh, also since somebody asked, this is the Nautilus theme from Maple Story <laughs> that I am playing right now on stream. All right, Eric Captain on Kang side. We uh we saw this do a lot of work before, so hopefully Kang can uh, work something out here. That was uh. You know, getting the like the pop-ups was really big. On the other hand, Kaz has Sela Captain, mm -hmm. uh, which is again the more like defensive-oriented one. We've definitely seen uh, some like really hard-to-kill characters there, even with like 
the the bypass claws eric so i i think this is going to come down to like there's definitely going to be more meter management than before because there's not as much sadness which is kind of weird to say uh yeah. but also like it seems like pop-ups are going to be a big point of contention in this match yeah and once again captain's plan eric gives him flourish firework at the very beginning but we have to see if that's gonna be you know a confirmed hit um if this is gonna be a switch but also um the speed but the speed investment coming out from both uh clint as well so if clint outspeeds this is this is not there's the good. quick it foil does. wow it's a quick foil it's got the priority plus two but the gloom lock it yeah, I, I was like, okay. the only way I can think that Kaz started Clint, knowing that Kang would start Eric, is for the quick foil. Yeah. But Kang was okay so, with that from that Gloam Locket. Clint is gone. Lose, yeah, lose Clint, which is kind of a kind of a big deal here. Yeah. They do have Salus still, though, so that's a, still a plus one priority uh, hit that they can get in if they want to confirm this. Um, or at least force a switch, but right. I don't actually. That yeah, that's probably the answer here. Yeah. So Sayla comes in for the priority hit. Now <laughs> he's like, do it again. Uh, yeah, she really wants to do it again, but knows that she has to switch out here. Yep. Farron, of course, takes physical hits like a pro, as we've seen before. Coat man. Also rocking rocking that uh, thorn pendant as well so yeah thorn pendant farin has been a pretty surprising uh like set on kang's team but it's been giving her a lot of help i mean thorn pendant in general is like we usually just see it on like Kaben. so i'm always glad to see it on more physical defenders yeah and it's one of the one of the pendants that you really don't expect Baron. Most of the time, you either see like the bomb locket or even like the lucky pendant to just stay alive for a lot longer. Um, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a smart idea because if it is your physical wall, you just want to bring them in and maybe deal a little bit back. Yeah. Switching out into Tazu to threaten that uh, Kaben, but switches into Eric in return. Tazu is still fine against Eric, though. Yeah, this is this is relatively safe. Okay. Okay, so it's probably looking to say like, okay, if you're gonna go for the pop-ups again, I'm gonna stop that. Yeah. And also be able to take that uh firewall hit. So Of course it wasn't an opportunity for flourish pop-ups, so mm -hmm. I think uh I think that Kang's uh thought process there was more like whether or not Eric stays in or switches, Firewall is a good move because it either makes Tazu tanky for later on for against Eric or most of the other characters are threatened by Firewall. He goes for another Firewall as well, just trying to tank up the Backlash, but Lucky Pendant, so staying alive a little bit. I, I feel like right now, Kang could just keep clicking Firewall. There's not really a lot that threatens it exactly it has only one more use though uh, after this turn i mean it looks like uh she's flourishing it to sort of uh catch the possible counter cast possible parry mm -hmm. i mean yeah i can see that coming through oh right it's a back pocket locket tazu yeah so it's gonna be able to get that back too right I forgot about that. It actually does work out really well. Wait, refund lock it? Oh. Wait, refund lock it? Oh, refund right. It? I thought it was... Was it somebody else that had a back pocket Tazu? Yeah, somebody else had a back pocket Tazu, I think, a couple games ago. Oh, okay. I might be getting them confused. My bad. Yeah. I was also confused. Oh, Back pocket shows you the name of the locket when it pops. Refund doesn't. That's weird. 
Kaz brings in Sela now. Okay. I... I don't know... I mean, I think Tazu is doing pretty well, but I almost feel like Tazu shouldn't stay in. Yeah, I don't know if Tazu... Can Tazu take the hit? Probably... If they can't, this is a switch into Farron. Uh, yeah. Which is relatively safe. Um... And maybe saving Tazu right now because it does have a lot of that digital defense buff to wait until uh, Eric switches in. Um, or at least you at least force Eric to be their only offensive option um, and just playing through that. So Yeah. Oh, also, this song is the Gerudo Valley from Cadence of Hyrule, specifically. Uh, yeah, so I, I almost kind of wonder if Kaz is going to swap out as well. No, okay. The practice stick. Okay. Takes the damage from forward pendant. Does get buffed a bit, though. Yeah. The extra physical attack definitely helps out here. I think uh, making sure Sela can sweep in the end is going to be important because Eric has to contend with Tazu and Kaben is just a little, uh, you know, more tanky than damagey a lot of the time. Is he trying? He's trying to read that switch into Kaden, I think. Um, not not quite going for the topple hammer, but rather the right up. Right. I I have to assume that we have a flourish something coming through. Maybe flourish flicker glove. Uh, because Kaz's Sela is getting kind of low, but can make up that health really quickly. Flourish yeah, flicker flourish glove especially would be a good option. I think that's the play. Not oh, quite it's not even yet. A flourish. This is a practice stick. Well, uh, oh no. Okay. Assuming Kaz has a priority move, then um, it shouldn't matter for this turn. Yeah. Yeah. The flicker glove happens next turn. Yeah. The flourish flicker glove just to make sure that they get back up. Drakkel just lost to Gretchling and losers. Wow. That's exciting. I haven't been able to keep track of the other brackets, or the other side of the bracket. Well, the topple hammer, though. If, if Actually, you know what? They they have to flourish, right? Yep. There it is. Okay, flour flourish, flourish practice stick. stick. Okay. I guess if if it ain't broke. No. If you, I mean, if, if you know that you're going to outspeed as well, too. Exactly. Right? So you might as well get that extra boost while you can. Anything helps. Already has another battery ready to flourish again. Yeah, and I was really threatening these uh, these digital attackers. So Sela is kind of the only one who could really possibly take a hit. We'll see. Maybe Lease. Yeah. Uh, Lisa's like, still at so full many, health, so many of Yeah. Right. What, they're, they're plus three off of, like, the practice stick. So. Um, right, and, and Eric's Gloam Locket has been popped already. Yeah. And without a battery, it's looking pretty tricky for Eric to do much. Here comes Sela v. Sela. Which one's the angry face and which one's the duck face? We may never know. Gotta see which, what what the moves are here. They're, we gotta know if the speed investment is gonna be enough to to get it. Right, right now Kang has the coin, uh -huh. so she will win the first speed tie. However, I mean Kaz is already up three practice sticks. Could do uh, I don't know. Could do a lot here. One okay, practice so stick for they're, Kang. They're one practice stick. It's a haymaker. Ooh. It's just a haymaker. Yep. Oh, wow. No flourish. No problem. Okay. Now this is this is really threatening. We've uh, now seen all three of Kaz's moves on uh, their Sela there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're checking damage right now. <laughs> yeah. I would too. This is this is kind of rough because 
its flicker glove glo goes off, right? And they also have enough to flourish on any of these. Um, but now that Eric is in, uh, it does fill that first battery. So yeah, we'll see if there's a if if it is a it it becomes mind games. You know, once again, it's do you parry? Do you you know sack for the flicker glove? Do you what are you? What's the play here? Yes, like Eric could just get sacked and then uh, Tazu could come in, for example. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if uh, if Sela comes in with the the flourish, then at least Sela will be at almost full health. Oh whoa! Switch. Eric switch in. I guess okay. Kaz wants to just build up some more meter. I mean, okay, this is. This is a little little shaky at this point too, because if by bringing in Eric, they they know that this is like kind of their digital defense wall to go up against this. I understand using Eric to build up more meter, but at the same time, we don't know how much damage they could actually do. Um, right. And if they do decide to threaten with uh, with like even more like pop ups, for example. Uh, they could start putting a lot more characters like under under the gun essentially here, but uh, the firewall is going to be able to come through. Yeah, that's the last firewall now. No more uses of it. So, uh, with only firm handshake and pop ups on the Tazu side, it's hard to say how much help Tazu would really be. Looks like Kang is switching out instead. Um, I'm really expecting Cass to just fireworks again. Second battery helps you uh, kind of get a guarantee off the first parry. You have to flourish firework just to get some more. Plus a captain's plan to stay alive. Yeah, the there we so, go. Yeah, this is getting a little, a little dicey. Definitely. Just, uh, yeah, it's uh it's it's we're definitely seeing like the strength of Sela Captain here being able to outheal the smaller chunks of damage or like backlash damage for this case. And just the ability to flourish fireworks uncontested. <laughs> they could do it again. Um but the thing that I was I was like looking at here is the rest of the attackers on the side of Kang are digital attackers. So, um, if you somehow got through this Eric and the Sela, like the K-Bond is essentially just there to take whatever hit you deliver to it. Um, but that that is saying you got to be able to get through Eric and Sela. Right. Yeah. Kaz still has both of their like main sweepers, just prepared, whole bunch of engines. I think the fireworks is a fair play. It seems like it's a lot of like, it's kind of a risky move, but I guess what else are you gonna do? Lise is knocked yeah. out, and uh, Kang's Eric does not have a lot of room to work with here. You will have one battery, but I don't know how well that's gonna gonna do. <laughs> the oh, he's just clicking blazes. Oh uh, no! Kaz still outsped. We didn't even get to see the Blaze of Glory. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> Eric with Sela Cap MP4. <laughs> Thanks. Wow. In incredible play there. That's a that's two one. With Kaz taking it. Kaz did not drop a set. Wow. Yeah, okay. May not have dropped the set, but at least we know that it bleeds. They that was the first time that they they took a round loss throughout this entire tournament, which is something to point out. Yeah. So 